Hi guys, I've had a lot of people ask me about their paintings cracking as they dry and that is something that happens a lot and I wanted to talk to you about how to minimize it. You don't necessarily avoid all cracks and cracks can actually add interest to the painting but I want to show you what I do right away after a fresh pour. I just poured this painting here and I have a produce box that I got and I cover it with the box and then I cover it with a trash bag and I'm going to leave this this way for probably a couple of days because if you take the time to make a nice painting you want to take the time to let it dry and you don't want to rush the process what this does it will slow the drying down a little bit and it will give the interior of the paint a chance to dry out because what happens is the surface of the paint dries first it's like when you bake a cake in the oven the top dries and you'll notice it splits open whether you're baking cookies or cakes that's it's just natural the heat hits the top of the of the uh, the cake first and you get these splits same thing happens with paint another thing you can do is pour off a little more of the excess paint and have a less deep pour that way it, it has a better chance to dry more evenly. But what I do is I, I don't expose it to heat. You want it to dry um, without heat naturally. Um, don't rush the process. So covering this with plastic kind of helps also keep some of the humidity in. And this is going to be left alone for a couple of days. And I'll check on it, but this is a good way to slow down the drying. Do not expose it to heat. Don't go out and set it in the sun and then wonder why it just splits in half. Um, also the torch, when if, if I torch something, just do it very quickly. So I wanna show you a painting that I did that does have some splits in it. This was a demo I did. This was the ocean pour I did. It's a YouTube demo and it's a 16 by 20 painting. And here are some places where, it, where the top cracked when it dried but I actually like it. I have no problem with this. And I went over it with some varnish and it's very smooth to the touch. I think it adds some interest here. So don't despair if you get something like this. It's, um, I think it's part of the process. It's very interesting. And uh, there are some times it'll crack horribly. It is just part of the deal. But this one I think is nice and it's a good example of some cracks that are totally okay. And by the time you varnish it, it's smooth to the touch. It's just part of the pouring. So you can partially control it by covering it up. And again, don't expose it to heat. And there you go. So we'll talk to you later. We'll see you next time.